everyone what's going on I have another quick little video clip to show you guys today and that is uh, of our hog nose our one hog nose that we're working with right now here at Safari Reptiles facebook.com slash Safari Reptiles please like the page and I'm just gonna talk a little bit about this little girl we have over here we actually got this animal uh, back at the Montreal Expo um, in a trade for some ball pythons and uh, this animal right here is actually uh, not how a regular hognose would look. Typically they have a lot more pattern on them. The trait that this hognose has is um, the anaconda trait. Basically it's an incomplete or co-dominant mutation. So very uh, easy to make these guys. You simply have to have an animal that's holding um, the gene, breed it to anything, and about 50% of the babies should come out being what we call anacondas. Now. Obviously the reason why they named the morph an anaconda is because you can see that it kind of has the same patterning that a, a green anaconda would have with those uh, spots on the back. But this is actually a very reduced pattern. Normally on a regular hog nose you have uh, much more spotting than this. So it does have a super which is uh, commonly referred to as a super conda. And uh, that animal is actually, believe it or not, completely patternless. It only has the markings on the head. Now what's really cool about these guys is their character. They have a bunch of little cool quirks about them. Um, typically, if they're feeling threatened, they will either flatten their heads out and sometimes actually strike without opening their mouths. Um, if they feel really threatened and I've actually never seen a captive specimen do this in person but they'll actually throw themselves on their back um, open their mouth and pretend they're dead another cool thing about them is I don't know if you guys could tell but obviously they move a lot differently than most of the snakes we have here they kind of do that whole side winding thing which is really neat to see so really cool little snakes and uh, that's another really cool thing about them actually is that they are little snakes um, a big female is around two feet and um, males I mean your males sometimes will be ready to breed when they're still on pinky mice believe it or not so typically your females are gonna be pretty um, well off in a uh, 15 gallon you know some people might even say a 10 gallon will be enough a 10 gallon is definitely enough for a male but really cool little snakes they say small I find they actually make great beginner snakes some people might not say so just because these guys do have little fangs uh, in the back of their mouths and uh, you will get a, a small reaction if you allow one to uh, chomp down on you and chew on you but that is pretty like mild and usually if you just take some Benadryl that'll clear that right up you know definitely not <laughs> life-threatening and uh, typically they don't really bite um, like I said before they'll uh, they'll hiss sometimes they'll flatten their head out look a little bit like small Cobras uh, but usually when they strike they strike with their mouth closed so and that's usually like when you freak them out when you're just going into their cage um, but typically they're super well-mannered snakes and uh, I find they're just beautiful animals especially with some of the uh, the morphs coming out right now you know if you guys want to look up some hog nose morphs check out the uh, super conda obviously that in combination with uh, albino there's what they call pink pastels um, there's some really nice morphs uh, out there especially like I'm a huge fan of the uh, super arctic but I don't think there's any of those up here in Canada yet so we're really excited to have this girl right now um, we're gonna be holding on to her and hopefully in a year maybe a year and a half maybe even two years we'll breed something cool to this female hope you guys enjoyed the video clip um, please like I said like Safari Reptiles on Facebook and if you haven't already please subscribe Thanks guys and take care.